Hey guys, Eric Peacock here with Pure Vita Fitness, personal training, Apple Valley, Lakeville, and Burnsville. Here to talk about getting back to the gym after COVID, all right, or any other sickness for that matter. We still have the flu, we still have bad colds. So what do you do when you go back to the gym after being sick? Do you go back in and you hammer it out? I know you get gung-ho, you've been sitting around, you feel like you've lost progress. That is not a smart strategy. Believe me, I've tried that strategy, it's not good. A lot of times it leads to a prolonged recovery and it, sometimes it can even lead to, lead to a relapse. So here's four things I wanna tell you about that I do and to do with clients when they come back is we reduce the weight to about 65 to 75% of the normal workload. So if I'm using 100 pounds on something, that's simply you're gonna use 65 to 75 pounds. So roughly that amount of weight, so you're gonna decrease the load a little bit to just kinda, the whole point of this is to kinda get your body used to working out again but not dive in head first. Number two is you're gonna reduce the volume. So I would do no more than two to three sets per exercise. Even starting out with two sets is gonna be a lot, especially if you're coming off a bad bout, if you've had COVID and it was really hard on you, which it was for a lot of people. Um, so doing two to three sets per exercise, no more than that. Uh, and then I'm talking about work sets, or these aren't gonna be really work sets like maybe you're used to. Exercise selection. So exercise that take a lot of, take a lot of energy and a lot of stress on the nervous system, squats, deadlifts, big uh, bench press, Big, big movements that use a lot of uh, load and a lot of joints. So I would actually substitute those things out. So maybe instead of doing deadlift, you do Romanian deadlift with dumbbells. Instead of bench press, maybe doing some dumbbell press. Instead of squats with a bar, maybe doing goblet squats. But pick exercises that aren't as stressful on the body because your nervous system's still probably using some of its energy to try to get you to 100%. And if you do something like a big uh, heavy set of deadlifts, Bunch of set, heavy sets of deadlifts, that's gonna compromise your nervous system, which is gonna compromise your recovery. And number four, the golden rule, always listen to your body, all right? Don't try to ramble your way through this thing, all right? Do it, uh, test it out, and generally build it back up. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll start, I'll be a little conservative on the first workout just to see how my body responds, because a lot of times it's not with how you feel during the workout, it's how you feel the day after, the two days after, that really counts. And think long term. I like the term live to fight another day. I know if I ease myself back in, I'm gonna be back to 100% and killing it in the gym sooner than if I, if I overshoot it right away out of the gate, I'm gonna pay for it. And it might actually set, it might be, I might prolong my coming back full go another couple weeks or so. So these are just some quick tips when you get back to the gym. Um, it's good because you're getting blood flow and you're stimulating the nervous system, but you wanna give it, it's just like medicine, you wanna give it the right dose. So hopefully that helps. That's our training tip for this week. We'll see you next week here at Pure Beauty Fitness.